Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue and this beautiful cat in front of us is Armani the Leopard. She just woke up from a very sleepy nap. But the reason I'm going live, I was trying to get some 360 video and my 360 camera appears to have died. And I don't know that they're out giving evening meds and snacks yet, but I ran across Andy Sardone and he is broadcasting live right now to our YouTube channel. It's the secondary channel, which would be youtube.com slash daily big cat. So he's trying out a GoPro camera using a, uh, well, actually it's not a MiFi. He's using his phone now, but the quality is just beautiful, much better than what I can get with the phone. So I may have to reconsider our, our setup here. And he was telling me that the stabilizer and the Hero, GoPro Hero, are both waterproof so a lot of times I can't go out and help when they do the evening meds and snacks in the rain because I don't want to ruin my camera and my stabilizer but if I can do that with a waterproof camera and stabilizer then that might be a really nice way of you guys seeing us even when we have to work in horrible weather so I won't feel bad at all if you jump off of this live feed and go over to our YouTube channel. And again, it's our secondary YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash daily big cat. And I think he was at Beecher and headed toward Priya and Duchess. I don't know if he's going to do Priya and Duchess, but he was headed in that direction. I haven't been doing the uh, big cat briefings. That is something that I typically do for our Alexa app. And because Alexa is not playing nicely with Google, it's not picking up our YouTube channel and transmitting it to the people who have Alexa devices. So I'm having to pay a guy, <coughs> excuse me, to figure out some kind of a workaround, even trying to use Amazon's own cloud storage, which you would think they would prefer for hosting the files. So I'm posting the files there and it still can't seem to pick up the files. So that's why I haven't been doing that until he gets it operational. It doesn't make much sense for me to go through all of the process of recording those and then having to transcribe them into or transcode them into MP3 files. Poor Armani, so sleepy. Am I keeping you awake with all this chatter over here? I was really hoping to go over and see Nikita Lioness, but she is sacked out. Totally sacked out. I just got back from the Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance. It was held in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And we visited the Black Pine Animal Sanctuary in Albion. I guess, I don't know how you say that. Albion? Al Albon? Albon, I think, is a wormer, a dewormer. <laughs> so it's probably Albion, Indiana. It was nice to meet up with the people from all of the sanctuaries that you guys know and love, like Wildcat Sanctuary and Wildcat Ridge and Turpentine Creek, Carolina Tiger Rescue. Uh, Pride Rock, I think is the name of that place. I, I really don't know those people very well. Crown Ridge just got their verification from the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. The AAP, which are the people who we worked with in Spain. They had primarily a primate facility. And back in 2012, Jamie and Dr. Justin went there to... Oh man, that was a big snore. <laughs> Jamie and Dr. Justin went there to give them some advice on cat housing and cat care along with some other experts and so they sent their people to the global federation of animal or to the uh, big cat sanctuary alliance this year there were lots of great presentations they had presentations from people about compassion fatigue which is something we all deal with and about fundraising and a lot of compliance issues. A lot of people say, oh, I want to start a sanctuary. They have no idea how much paperwork that involves. All of the things you have to do with payroll and withholding and reporting and all of that is just such a nightmare. 
Nobody in their right mind would start a sanctuary, Armani. Manny Jaguar is over there in the 22,000 square foot funcation. And he's just been longingly looking at Armani sleeping over here. Like, She's my friend. I want her to come on funcation. Yeah, not your idea of fun, is it, Armani? All right, I'm going to hop off here. I hope they are still live over at youtube.com forward slash daily big cat. Let me know what you think about the quality of the images. It's from the GoPro, and it looked beautiful to me. Andy showed me his camera, and I'm really excited about the technology being much, much clearer than what we can get with the iPhones. Although I did order a new iPhone, so I might wait and see how that goes when it gets here. I uh, didn't see who asked it. Somebody said, did you see the rescue from Colorado? If you're talking about wild animal sanctuary, they were not there this year. Um, i trying to think. There were a few others that weren't there this year that were there the previous year. Safe Haven wasn't able to get out there. And the reason is we used to do this every two years, and then people said they wanted to do it every year. And the problem is people who run sanctuaries just can't get away every year to go to something like this for three or four days because you're talking about five days by the time you get travel involved. And so uh, we may go back to every two years, which I think would probably work out better for most of us in the sanctuary world. All right, talk to you guys later. If I see anybody out doing meds, I will follow them and let you guys come along too. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Armani. Mwah. Did I love you?